Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to sign up for the Jira instance free account and then also create a token authorization token so that we can use it in order to access Jira cloud APIs. Okay, so this is my Jira account. Okay, if you'll see that this is the URL that uh, that I have provided, but in order to sign up for the Jira free account, simply Google. Okay, so I'll go to Google and i will simply say jira sign up okay so you'll see this option here try jira for free okay and then there is a get jira software for free okay so simply click on this link here so it will simply go here directly okay so get jira for free you can just go to this url or if you are just on the atlassian you know website i'll simply go from atlassian.com website and i'll show the navigation from there as well so you can see that we have different products okay so we'll simply go to the project products and these the, the layout might change right but overall the free options you will see something similar so i'll go to the jira software okay so you'll see the start my 30 day uh, free 30 day trial that's not we want right so you will see that this free trial is basically for the premium okay we will use just the basic version of it so in order to get the basic version let me see if we it is available at the bottom as the premium okay so you simply go to the um you'll see here we have free software community support and then premium right so we simply want free so in order to get the free you simply have to go to the pricing okay previously it was free just here but then they have changed this layout and that's what i'm saying you have to browse a little bit in order to find that free okay so in the cloud, you'll see that we have this one free. Okay. Free is zero dollars, always free for 10 users, monthly subscription. Okay. So we'll simply say get it now. Okay. Click on get it now. And you'll see the addition is free for up to 10 users. You simply have to continue with your Google account. Okay. Or simply use any of the email. So here you can use Gmail email as well. Okay. But the easiest part is continue with Google and once you will start continuing with Google there is a step by step process that will guide you through it will ask for the site okay the site name so you simply put any name or unique name the same way that you create your Gmail account it will be similar process or similarly easy I would say to create a instance Jira inst once it's complete it will automatically spin it off and it will redirect you to the this particular page okay so for example once you create a project you will be landing here on the project right so for example here if i go view all project so if you have created any project during the sign up process the project will be shown here and you will be landed on the dashboard okay now the next thing in is to create a token right so token to access any of the rest apis right now we are not going to work with any of the ui features here right we are we are learning postman api testing okay api testing with postman why we are signing up for jira why why we are creating this token so that we can use the rest apis within jira okay and then understand how, what all apis are there endpoints are there for example is, is there an api that we can use to create a project right then we'll use those apis to create project create issues within it and do end-to-end -end learning of API testing with chaining and everything using the real API, not the dummy API, right? Learning from dummy APIs is easy. But in the real projects, you will be using real documentation. The complexity level will be almost similar like the Jira APIs, okay? So if you just work with a fake store API, that is not going to help you a lot. But with the real API documentation, when I'll go through and I'll read out the documentation, it will also help you to understand how to read this all this documentation, what all the curl says, right? How to use the permissions, etc. How to understand different method, right? That are explained here. Okay, so that's why we are signing up so once you are signed up the next thing is in your account right so in your account once you are here like the way it says rcv academy live.atlassian.net it will give you an instance something whatever so for example you choose abcdefg.atlassian.net jira projects 
once you come here simply click on the settings and then scroll down uh, sorry go to the icon here okay the account icon okay so and then click on manage not the settings but the account and click on manage account it will go to the account your account wherein you can create a token okay so now here in the account go to the security so this is your account they are atlassian account go to security and here you will see api token section okay so in the api token simply click on create and manage api tokens and then you will see create api token okay so this button is here simply click on create api token put the label of the token right so you can put any name right so postman api testing okay i've just put the label api test and then simply click on create okay as soon as you will create it will give you a string a token okay so if i simply go ahead and click on create it will give me a token okay and this is password treat is treat it like a password it is very sensitive and if somebody gets this token they will be able to access my jira instance okay so i'll simply copy it it is copied to the clipboard i'll paste it somewhere else safe and then use it in my postman right so this is the only bit that is required for you to get started with the rest api advanced section of this particular course and once you cancel it you will see whatever tokens you have created the label will be available here right uh, and then when it is created whether it's accessed or not and the action you can revoke these tokens as well right so once you are done with learning make sure you revoke all tokens so that they in case somebody else finds them out as well or they are leaked then they are not able to use them again okay so to revoke all tokens simply click on revoke all api tokens as of now i'm not going to revoke because we are going to learn the whole lot of api testing using postman and we are going to use jira rest apis so now from here on we'll be working with the jira rest api okay and the documentation here so this whole lot of documentation that you see here this is what we are going to go through and then we'll go through each and every important bit and information in the documentation and then start learning api testing from here so that's all for this video i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching